Good evening, good to see everyone. Um, so I welcome all of you most warmly to the 112th annual dinner of the Edinburgh Sir Walter Scott Club. Now our president is Professor Murray Petrack, and I will introduce him in a moment and it is he who will give the toast to the memory of Sir Walter Scott. Now because of various complications with Covid this is actually the second dinner which we have held within 12 months. On the 2nd of September, somewhat cautiously but delighted to be able to see each other again in person, we had our 111th annual dinner and Sir Tom Devine spoke to us and he gave the toast. Now, despite COVID, I'm glad to say that the club is thriving and this is very much to the credit of Michael Wood and Lee Simpson. Um, and indeed, I, I'm truly, I thank both of you immensely for your tremendous effort. <laughs> now this year, 2022, we have already had two meetings. Um, I spoke at one of them on, on, on um, religious argument in the monastery and Dr. Elena Shmakova spoke to us in April about dance in Sir Walter Scott's Works and Times. Now I'm very happy today to welcome our president, Professor Pittock, who will be known to many of you. Uh, Professor Pittock is a Scottish historian and he's the Bradley Professor of Literature at the University of Glasgow. He has an immensely distinguished list of publications since his 1991 monograph, The Invention of Scotland, ranging over 19th century literature, Jacobite politics, Scottish nationality, James Hogg, James Boswell, Robert Burns, Culloden, and the development of the city of Edinburgh. And I'll say a little more about him later, and uh, actually I'm going to use a slightly different biography of him from the one which is on the back of the menu. So you'll learn even more. <laughs> now our other guest is Dr. John Arms, and he is the Episcopal Church's Bishop of Edinburgh, whom I will shortly ask to say grace and later invite him to respond to a toast. Now, Dr. John Arms was born in London and educated at Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge, and then at Salisbury Theological College. Ordained a priest in 1980, he was chaplain for agriculture in the Diocese of Carlisle, later becoming vicar of Water Millock on the shore of Ullswater in the Lake District. He became a rector in Lancashire and served as chaplain to the University of Manchester from 86 to 94, and while there he was awarded a PhD. He became rector of St John's, Edinburgh in 1998, and Bishop of Edinburgh in 2012. Now, Bishop John, you are really most welcome, and may I ask you to come up and say grace, please. Yes, Thank you, Ian. Let us pray. For all your good gifts, for food and friendship, for words and wisdom, we thank you, O oh God. May the plenty we enjoy this evening echo the generosity by which we live. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 